Hey, what's up? It's your girl down with Anisha, aka DD, and this is my YouTube channel, DD Says So. And I am back with another video. So, as always, if you are new here, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. We are finally back with the coupon video. Thank you to all of my um dedicated followers that's been like, DD, when are you bringing all I bought it back? When are you bringing Walmart? I bought it. I took a little hiatus. That's the one thing about couponing. Like, if you stop. I mean, like, you still have the urge to go back, but, like, if once one week turn into two weeks, two weeks turn into three weeks, I apologize. I'm going to try to be on it. If you would like to follow my couponing page on Facebook, Couponing with Didi, I will also <clears throat> I will also leave the link in the description box below. As always, if you like this video as you're watching, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. I'm going to try to start doing three videos a week. Um, hopefully, um, if you are good with helping people with their schedule... Cause I got a lot going on. If you are good with helping people with their schedule, hit your girl up and help me out because I can use it. And I want to bring y'all more videos. So as always, if you have any ideas or things you would like to see, you can write them in the comments below. So it is a Walmart Ibotta haul. I went for the Weekend Warrior. So check your Ibotta accounts. There was also five free items. I had it on my main account, didn't have it on my backup account, so just check your account, and I will also have the printable breakdown in the description box below, but please, please, please watch the video all the way through. I appreciate you, and let's get started. So, I believe I got a total of 36 items today. I didn't do my final total of how much each was, but I'll put it in the comments. Um, but the first freebie item we got is the Nestle um, Toll House Cookies. I got chocolate chip, but I believe that was like a caramel flavor. This was $2.50. I bought it, gave it back $2.69, making it free, plus a $0.19 cent money maker. And if you are new here, money maker is when you get back more than you spent. The next free item that we have that I'm really excited about is the Red Baron. I got the brick oven pizza. Just make sure that you're always scanning your items. And also, disclaimer, some rebates may be higher. Like, I may get $4.49 back. You may get $3.98. Just check your accounts. But I got the brick oven. This is the Supreme pizza. Want to try something different. This is $3.98. Got back $4.49 on Ibotta, making it free plus a $0.51 cent money maker. So, free, free pizza and i think these free items were like for like the super bowl getting us ready for the super bowl so um that's what we have we have a free eight pack of bubbly i got the bounce this is the caffeinated sparkling water but you can get the regular one for this eight pack it was three dollars and 38 cent got back three dollars and 89 cent on ibotta making the final cost free plus the 51 cent money maker and the other two items that i did not see in my store was the mission tortilla chips and the Lighthouse Ranch Dipping Sauce. So getting us ready for the Super Bowl, which is February 6th. I'm, wait, no, it's February 13th. It's actually Valentine's Day Eve. So I ain't got no boo. So I'm going to be throwing me a party, Super Bowl party, celebrating pre-Valentine's Day watching the Super Bowl. The next item I got is the Target gum. The Target gum. <laughs> Y'all, let me... <laughs> the Trident gum. This was one twelve per pack, two twenty four for both. Um, got back one twelve. I'm making this a bogo item in Ibotta. So if you never heard of bogo item, they have free items and they have bogo, meaning that you basically had two for the price of one. So the final cost became one twelve or fifty six cent each. I did not find it in my store, but they also had the Target gum packs, which are one eighty eight. Same deal, you get two, and then you get back half of the price. The next one I got was the Snickers Brownie. Um, Snickers Almond Brownie. These were 88 cents. It was 176 for both. Got back 50 cents on our bottom, making the final cost 126 or 63 cents each. And these are actually really good. And I love Snickers. The next item I got was the Kraft Mac and Cheese. This was 98 cents. Got back 35 cents on our bottom, making the final cost 63 cents. The next item that I got was the cheesy grooves. So I've tried to get the other flavor before and it worked, but this time it will only let me scan the scorching hot, which actually the scorching hot is like 10 cent cheaper than the other flavors. So this was 288, got back a dollar making it 188. Most of the snacks that we get on our bottle, whether it's like the rich chips, the cheeses and stuff, you mostly get like a dollar back. Um the next item I got was the ocean spray. Ocean Spray Frescas. So they have these new flavors. And because I got back a dollar, 
I decided to get three. So a couple of these items I did get back three. So I want to tell you the total. So my totals match up at the end. But this is cranberry pineapple passion fruit. So I think my video for Wednesday try this will be trying the different ocean sprays. Cranberry lemon raspberry. I don't think I'm going to be a fan of that one. But you never know. And cranberry raspberry pear. So these were $2.96. You get back a dollar making it $1.96. But I got three. So I paid. So they were $8.88. Got back $3 making them $5.88 or $1.96 each. The next item that I got was the Lala yogurt smoothie. So these were $3.44. I got back a dollar and 75 cents, making the final cost $169. Um, I believe you can Google Lala like yogurt coupon and if I find it I'll put it in the description box below where you can get like a dollar coupon off a four pack um all you have to do is sign up but I used it before so I don't know if you get recurring coupons but that's just a hint if you never bought the Lala yogurt and this is the strawberry banana flavor the next item I got which is also another item because I do use my Walmart I buy the hauls as my grocery trip sometimes depending on if I really like the product um and I I already used it is the Kraft's um shredded cheese so i got sharp cheddar mozzarella and mexican four cheese so these cheeses are 278 you get back 50 cents and i bought them making them 228 i got three so that was 834 got back 150 making it 648 or again 228 which is cheaper than it is in aldi's i think for all these cheese it's like three dollars a pack so i'll take the little 50 cent off it's something the next item that I have for you, and I'm so excited to try, is the gluten-free Oreos. If you tried the gluten-free Oreos, can you please write it in the comments and let me know what you thought about it. Or if you tried any other weird Oreo flavor, because Oreo be, they just be trying stuff. They just be in a shop just cooking up stuff. Um, and I can't wait to try these and let you all know how they taste. Always made with real cocoa. Alright, Oreo. Oh, <laughs> These were $3.67. Most Oreos are. Um, but on the at my store, it said $3.17. But I think I was just looking wrong or I wanted it to be $3.17. But it was $3.67. I got back a dollar, making the final cost $2.67. Now, this next item I am so ecstatic about because I love when we can get these. Um, this is the Priscilla pack. So we did have a $2 printable coupon. I mean paper coupon i'm not sure where it's at but if you have any trouble finding coupons i'm going to do better with future breakdowns because i only used about five or six coupons but i tried to tell you where it come from but you can use the database coupon time um you just put in the comments like per seal and they'll let you know if there's any coupons that came so it came between one of the january inserts but this was 4.94 use the two dollar coupon um, pay $2.94, get back $2 from my bottom, making the final cost $0.94. Cent. Now, if you are not a fan of, like, the this slash pack slash pods slash flings, um, you can get the detergent. Detergent is just a little bit more. It's $5.24, use that same coupon, pay $3.24, get back $2 on my bottom, making the final cost $1.24. And if you get a bunch of those coupons and you like for sale, stack up. Um, the next item that we got was the Lysol laundry sanitizer. So I've never used this. I don't know how to use it, but I'm gonna figure it out. I don't know if you put it with your white clothes, all your clothes, but this is $5.97. We have a dollar and fifty internet printable and we have a paper coupon. Um I use paper I'm use most of my paper coupons this trip to save my internet printables. Um pay four forty seven got back a dollar and fifty on Ibotta making the final cost two ninety seven. The next item that I got was the Lysol wipes, and I'm going to keep getting it as long as I have coupons. These were $2.48, use 50 cent internet printable or paper coupon, pay $1.98, get 50 cent back on Ibotta, making the final cost $1.48. The next item we have is a BOGO deal, but if you notice the way I do my breakdowns, I do, I'm sorry if this doesn't work for you, but I do my breakdowns, I do the free items, majority of the BOGO items, like, like freezer items, snacks, yogurt, and cheese. And then, like, cleaning, household cleaning, and then beauty. Like, beauty, um, like, sanitary, um, stuff like that. Was it beauty? Beauty and hygiene. Um, so that's how I do my breakdown. So hopefully it works in your Walmart. Um, but this is the Microband 24-hour 
keeps killing 99.9% .9 of bacteria for up to hours. I don't actually know what it do, but it said kill bacteria. So we're just going to spray it on some stuff. Um, this is the citrus scent, and then this is the fresh scent, but they're $5.94, $11.88 for both. Um, paid $11.88, got $5.94 back from Ibotta, making the final cost $5.94. And this is one of the many, the smaller, um, calculations I didn't do, whatever $5.94 divided by 2 is. And that'll be how much it was for each. Got some band-aids, because you never know when you'll need some. These were... And band -aid, all the other band-aids, the cute band-aids and everything was like $3.24. These were like the cheapest ones I could find, $2.32. $2 got back a dollar on that bottom, making it $1.32. And I just got it to show you all more options to give you a chance to reach those bonuses. And then the next item I got is the Jergens. This is the 10-ounce. It only works for the 10-ounce for Ibotta. But this was $3.77, had a $1.50 internet printable and paper coupon. Um, paid $2.27, got a dollar back on Abida, making the final cost $1.27. So those are all of the Abida only items. And now we're going to move on to Shopkicks, which is another app that I use to make money. And you can find my referral code for that in the description box below. But I only got two items from Shopkicks. One was being the hand soap. This is Dove, Coconut, and Almond Milk. They have many different scents. This was $3.97. Um, got back $2.50 on Shopkicks, making the final cost $1.47. So it's not bad for Dove, because Dove can be a little bit expensive. So the next deal that I got was I bought a Shopkicks combo. So I only got one. I didn't get two. Um, but I just wanted to show you a visual because you can either get the um like the, the regular chicken pieces or you can get the breaded cheese chicken pieces. So this is Darren. Darren is one of the many plant-based um products that's out there they're trying to be more healthier trying to give us more plant-based options so this is the regular chicken and this is the breaded so this is the one that i bought but they are both 5.94 you get two dollars back on our body and you get a dollar and 46 back on shop cakes making the final cost 248 so if you would like to try it it doesn't hurt on this bag it says 180 calories 10 grams of protein zero cholesterol palm oil free and it's made from plants and you can also see the nutrition values and how to cook it on the bag the next items that we're going to move towards is Swagbuck. So Swagbuck is also another website slash app that I use to get money. So you you can double dip. You can upload your Ibotta receipt to Fetch and Fetch to Shopkicks. Um, just try to get as much money back as you can. I got, and when I say as much as you can, this is an Ibotta item. So this extra gun was a dollar and I got back 25 cents on Ibotta. And I only got two cents back on Swagbucks, but you best believe I was going to submit it to get my two cents. Making the final cost 73 cents. Then, um, also another deal for the Impossible, um, Impossible Chicken Nuggets made from plants. Now these are really good. I did try these. I like these. Um, they, so with the deal with Swagbucks, you have to get any two plant um, impossible plant based so you can get the nuggets and the meatballs or the or the burger patties um you could just pick and choose or the sausage but i haven't tried the meatballs yet and i don't want to buy it if i don't like it i know that i do like the nuggets and they don't expire for like a year so it gives you some time so these were 648 um for two they were $12.96. You get six off two for Swagwex, making the final call $6.96 or $3.48 each. The next item that I have is the Atkins Protein Shakes. So I'm trying to eat and drink healthier. Um, I don't always succeed, but today is day 21 with no pop. So if you know me and you know how much I love pop, I think I'm doing pretty well. Um, it's a start. But these Protein Shakes, Atkins, this is actually... The strawberry, not the stra chocolate banana flavor, uh, were $5.84. Got back $0.76 cent on Shopkicks, $1.50 on Swagbucks. And you can get $1.50 up to two times on Swagbucks. So you can buy it twice and get $1.50 back. And then I got $1.50 back on Checkout 51. Now, Checkout 51 and Swagbucks are sister accounts. So you may want to try to sign up with different emails um, if you want to take a picture for both. I think, I believe I signed up with the same email for both and it's always worked for me. But, I don't know if it's like a little cheat code. I always upload to Swagbucks first and then check out 51. I don't know if that, that little rule works. But the final cost became 208. The next item that I have, that I don't have, 
you'll have to hold it up is the green giant frozen veggies so the green giant frozen veggies you can get the rice um veggies which will make it um completely free or you can do what i did and i tried to get a new item i don't even know how i missed this um I got the veggie rings, which is like cauliflower and onions. And then I got the veggie fries, which is like zucchini and some something else. But they were $3.48 each. Um, I bought two, making it $6.96. Um, I got back $0.75 cents times two twice on my bottom, making that $1.50 back from my bottom. Got $3 off of two on swag bucks. Um, and then I got $0.87 cent times two, making it $1.74 on checkout 51, making the final cost $0.72 cent or $0.36 cent each. But as I mentioned, if you get the rice veggies, I think it'll be a better deal. It's just all about what you want to get. The next item I got is just an item, um, Welch's Juice Fruits. Um, this was two thirty eight. I actually wrote this one down. I had a $0.50 cent coupon from the one two save, making the final cost $1.88. And then that, um, you remember the Jergens from earlier? They have this little guy here. This is the three floor ounces. This is $197. I believe, no. I have $208, but I think it was $197. I'm just going to go with what I have here. $208, and you can use that same $1.50 coupon on this because it said it excludes trial sizes. This is not a trial size. It's three ounces, which will make the final cost for this $0.58. Cent. Um, and just a couple of items that I got because they... I want to try it. Kit Kat got a new Kit Kat. This is the Kit Kat Duos Mocha and Chocolate. This was 88 cents. And I apologize. I don't have my receipt. I don't know how much this is. Um, my dad is obsessed with this and he wanted me to buy some. So I put it, it's probably like three or four dollars. I don't know. But those are the 36 items that I have for you today. So I need y'all to pray for me because I don't know what's wrong with me because I feel like I all, my total always has to be $100 when I go into uh, Walmart. And I'm working on that because it doesn't have to be. I don't want you all to go spend $100. But, I mean, who chat? So, for all <laughs> for all of the 36 items, my total was $127.127.72. That's tax included. And um, I always know that tax may be different because I think tax in Chicago is like 10.5%. I'm not sure, but it's high. Um, I had $7.50 in coupons, which brought my total down to $120 and $22. It would have been nice if it brought it down to $100, but we ain't going to harbor over that. Um, so I do use my Ibotta um, balance to pay towards it, so I don't have to pay $120, and it wasn't a lot. I had $25.52 um, in my balance, so out of pocket, I paid $94.70, but I did get $0.60. Cent. So one of the good things about pay with Ibotta is by paying a gift card, I'm going to spend the money anyway. So I might get the little 5% back that I'm going to get from buying the Walmart gift card, which was $0.60. Cent. And when you buy a gift card with Pay With Ibotta, it counts as an offer. So let's say I needed 15 offers and I only had 14. When I use Pay With Ibotta, it counts as an offer and it allowed me to reach my bonus. So that's just a little tip. So $94.70 is what I paid. I got back a total of $40.68 from I bought a thirty seven oh eight from just the products, three dollars because I hit the weekend warrior, and sixty cent from buying that Walmart gift card. I got about fifteen dollars and fifty four cent from Swagbucks. Um, make sure you just upload your receipts because there was a item on Swagbucks that attached to my receipt that I ain't complaining about, and I'm not giving them. <laughs> you be like, oh, I didn't really buy this here. Can you take that off? They had already added it. It wasn't nothing I could do. Now, if they had an item on there that I bought and they didn't add, then I probably would have said something. But I was like, I'll take the little extra, whatever it is. I got three dollars and twenty four cent back on checkout fifty one, and then I got. $5.30 back on Shop Kicks, making the final cost that I got back $64.76. So 94 divided by set, oh, 94.70 minus 64.76 equals 29.94 divided by 36 items, making it 83 cent each. So I think I did pretty good. I got all of my items under a dollar. Like this was six dollars by itself the protein shakes were a dollar by itself but as always if you have any coupon questions something that you want me to do or go over please write it in the chat below i know andrew shout out to andrew he's been telling me to do a segment on like couponing one-on-one -on -one. so as soon as i get my notes together and get a day that i can present that for you all i will bring it but as always because you know you got to remind you if you like this video as you was watching please give it a thumbs up hit that 
subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos and that's all i have for you today so i want you to have a great day on purpose why because dd said so love y'all bye